Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a sidebar in Elementor in 2023. Elementor is a powerful page builder for WordPress that allows you to design and customize your website with ease. So with the help of Elementor, we'll guide you through the process of creating a stylish and functional sidebar for your website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first step, of course, is to ensure that you have Elementor installed and activated into your WordPress website. So if you don't have it, make sure to go and get your own even uh, pro Elementor because it will have a lot of features. So as you can see for me, I don't have a lot of features because I don't have Elementor Pro. But of course, if you want them, you can simply go and upgrade now and get your Elementor Pro. And as you can see, you'll find the prices from here and even the features of them if you click on buy now. So go and check that by your own. And of course, this is just a plugin. You can install it on your WordPress dashboard. So go to plugins, install it, and you'll be able to use it. So as we said in the beginning of this video, is we would like to create sidebar for us. So if you want to, of course, we will have to create a new page. And as you can see, I have already a page here for you. You can simply go and create a page for you on the dashboard of your WordPress. Go to pages, click on add new and choose Elementor. From there, you'll be able to go and add some sections to your page. As you can see, I already even have a section here that I can drag the widgets into it. And once I do so, I can simply go to this list panel, go to the search widgets and simply type bar. And as you can see, I'll find the side sidebar here. So simply, I'll have to go and drag it out here. And here, of course, I'll be able to uh, edit the content of it and even some advanced options. So let's just start by the content. So as you can see, we can choose like the sidebar should be a footer one, footer two. And as I said, this, uh, this uh, Elementor will like a lot of features because I don't have the Elementor Pro, but don't let's just not care about this at the moment. So of course, as you can see, you can do whatever you want with it. So of course, once you click on edit, you'll be able to uh, edit this from here. And of course, this advanced option will just let you to advance or to change, sorry, the margins and the paddings, as you can see, the width, the positions, the index, CSS ID or CSS classes, and of course, a lot of other settings on Elementor right here. So let's just choose an example, click on it, and then just choose footer one. And as you can see here, you'll find like some sidebar that we can choose from. So I'm just going to type like test, search. And of course, you can go and check everything and even edit whatever you want to. And of course, once you finish your edits and you can always preview the changes from here. Once you click on preview changes, you'll be able to test everything is working correctly. Click on everything and see if everything is working. As you can see, depending on what you edited. And of course, if everything is working correctly, you can always go and publish your website and you will be good to go. So other than that, of course, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff on Elementor, including like here, uh, add in like as an example. If you want to add some intersection, you can simply drag it here into uh, this section as an example. So let's just drag it. And as you can see, you'll be able to edit the layout of it. As you can see, we can edit the content width, the width of the uh, layout, of course, the columns gap, uh, height, vertical lines, overflow, HTML tag, and of course, even the structure of it. If you want to, we'll be able even to edit that so of course other than that we'll be able to edit the style of it as an example so we can change uh, the background of it uh, we can uh, give it a uh, like a normal background or a hover background uh, there's the even the background overlay option the border the sh the shape divider and of course the typography also so you can go and also to this advanced and here you will be able to uh, edit the margins the paddings depending on whatever you want of course and this z index uh, css id css classes will just simply edit those margins uh, for you and of course here there is this motion effect that you can edit also responsive uh, attributes and custom css and of course as you can see those will require pro also so uh, of course you'll be able even to add some hidden as an example you can simply just drag it down in there get your hidden here as an example i'm just going to type test here you can even go and even paste the link if you want like this uh, hidden to be clickable you can even edit the sides the html tag alignment of it so you can do basically what Whatever you want with it you can even change the style of it including color typography uh, text stroke text shadow and the blend mode and of course here on the advanced uh, option 
animation, it will be able to edit the loud of it, the motion effect, transform, background, border, mask, responsive attributes, and the custom CSS also. And of course, other than that, we have this image. So we can simply go and add our image by clicking here on image. We'll be able to upload some files from our PC as an example. So let me just go here as an example and upload this file. And as you can see, you'll be able to upload it and we can even change the scale of this uh, file or this image however we want we can even align it to the light rift uh, middle we can even get at some caption a link as an example and we can even go and edit this image of it uh, the image width as an example the max width if you want to the he the height and of course we'll be able even to change the object's width uh, the uh, it would like to be normal or hover css filters will be will be able to apply some and of course on this advanced we'll be able to edit all of those stuff i don't have to go through them again and of course we have here the text editor example we'll be able to go and add some text if you want to and edit the content of it the style of it and even here we have the advanced options so the styles normally going to be the alignment text color typography and text shadow as usual content here we can go and do whatever we want with it as you can see here and that's normally going to be it here of course you'll be able to add some videos as examples so let me just go and drag it here so if you click on this video as you can see you can link a video from youtube if you want to, you can link it from Vimeo or Dailymotion or even self-hosted if you're going to uh, upload it from your PC as an example. So as an example, let's just go here and see we are going to upload something from YouTube. So simply you'll have to go and paste the link right here. Once you do so, the video will appear here and you'll be able to play it whenever you want. Even fix the uh, play speed, the quality of it and of course the volume and or any thing else that you want to edit so of course if you click on it that will open it even on youtube as an example and you'll be able even to watch it on youtube directly so of course you can even use this navigator from here to go back and edit whatever you want if you want to and of course as you can see the video will be able to even edit some options of it if you wanted to autoplay if you wanted to be mute if you wanted to loop if you want uh, to have some player control or if you don't want people to have player control, uh, the mode is branding, privacy mode. And of course, there's even the style. So here it's just going to be uh, the size of the video, as you can see. So if you put it like this, it depending just on the size of the video, how it's going to be. So you'll have to go and put it the size that you want. You can even go and add some CSS filters. And of course, on this advanced uh, button or option, you'll find the same advanced uh, options. As you can see here, you'll be able to edit the margins, the padding, width, position, and a lot of other stuff here other than that of course you'll be able to add some buttons so buttons will work as an example so as an example you'll be able to edit text so i'm just going to type here test again and of course you can paste here the link and if someone click on this test right here they will be taken to the link that you put here and of course you can even choose the alignment of it the type of it as an example and size the icon you can go and upload like some icon from yourself the icon spacing and of course you'll be able to edit the style and a lot of other stuff and then we have the divider spacer and those like kind of the same thing so you can go and try them out and of course we have even this google maps option this option will let you as an example let me just go and add it here you will be able to add like the location that you want in google maps you can simply go and add the location here and that's gonna be it and of course the icon simply you can go and add whatever icon you want edit the style of it and edit any advanced option that you want also and you will normally be good to go so if you reach the sponsor of this video, congratulations, you have successfully created the sidebar in Elementor in 2023. By following, of course, those steps, you'll be able to create sidebar and a lot of other stuff as an example. And of course, remember to experiment with like different widgets, combinations and design to find like the perfect sidebar layout for your website. So thank you for watching and best of luck with your Elementor sidebar. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more Hero 4 tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.